12 rules, 12 rules, Peterson, can you simplify everything for us? Can you make it one rule? Can you make it like one deep truth? Let's dive into it. Hello Petersonites and welcome to the last part of my series about Jordan Peterson's 12 rules for life. If you haven't seen them yet, go and check this playlist where I have all my analysis of Jordan Peterson's 12 rules for life, where I go deep into each rule and try to find the truth that lies behind the rule. Now, what I have to say is that over time I've seen some certain patterns emerge. So it's not 12 independent truths, but it's more like a coherent framework out of which these rules appear at different stages. And this is what we're going to look at in this video. I've summarized everything in a big infographic. You're free to download it and share it as you wish. The core problem that Peterson tries to solve is that existence is fundamentally flawed. There are some pretty deep problems about existence that cannot be removed. This all goes back to Peterson's remark that existence requires limitation. If you had no limitation, you would have no story. You would not really exist. You would be basically God, everything. But since you're not God, what you get in life is suffering, death, malevolence, uncertainty, no fully defined meaning and inequality. And so Peterson has been trying to find something that can compensate for all that, right? Because the question is, okay, if existence is so bad by definition, by requirement, there is no way to exist without having all these problems. Then the question is, is it worth it to exist at all? That's a good question. And it's a question that Jordan Peterson takes very seriously. So he embarked on a journey, a 15 years or even more journey to find out what is it that makes life worth living despite all those big problems. And the key observation that Peterson makes is that regardless of all those circumstances of existence, you still have a choice. There is still something about you that's pretty important, which is that you have the power to envision the kind of world you want to bring about within certain limits, of course, but it's in your power to look at all the potential futures and pick one and then realize it. And this capacity is godlike. It's, it's the capacity to create something out of nothing or out of potential, at least out of a certain amount of directions, the capacity to choose one and realize it. And this capacity deserves some respect and some dignity, which is, by the way, the core value of Western civilization. Now, the next question you must ask yourself is, OK, if I have the power to choose the kind of world that I want to bring about, what am I aiming at? Because it's not clear that we know what we are aiming at. Another way to frame it is, is your ultimate aim anything else than the highest good? Is your desire for the highest good conditional or unconditional? Because that defines who you are. Your fundamental aim is your starting point, is the origin of what it means to be you. So ask yourself that question. Your ultimate aim is also what can be considered your God. So the question is, is your God the ultimate good or is it anything else? Is it, for example, pleasure, certainty, laziness? safety, success, idealism, resentment. Is it your tribe? All these are things that deep inside can guide us without us even noticing. So it's up to you to decide whether you want to hide from the problems in front of you or face the unknown forthrightly. Whether you want to blame the world for its insufficiency or aim for the good regardless. Whether you want to bend everything towards the pursuit of your limited goals or whether you want to allow your goals to die and be reborn in the name of a higher good. So if there was a final rule that encapsulates the message of 12 rules for life, for me, it would be aim for the good, pay attention to your sense of meaning, allow the truth to calibrate your aim. And as Peterson said, this is a lifelong adventure that might justify the limits of existence. I'm Nick Redmark, and I want you to master your mind. Thanks for watching. Subscribe.